When you were a kid, did you collect insects in the sense of That's like funny that you say that? Yeah. I, mm -hmm. when I was a kid, I mm -hmm. saw this film about the life of the ladybug. Mm -hmm. It's one of those films you see in school, and so I went in my backyard and I saw these. Um, oh, those are the the eggs of the ladybug that I saw in the film. So I broke these off, put it in a jar, and I wa waited and waited, and then the eggs hatched and they turned into these larvae. Mm -hmm. These ladybug larvae, mm -hmm. and it's like, oh, I'm gonna go find some aphids to feed them, like they did in the film. And I found aphids and watched them devour the aphids. And every day I was feeding them more aphids, and then they go into a pupa, mm -hmm. and then they go into ladybugs, and I let them free. So I used to raise ladybugs as a kid. Wow. Where was that? <laughs> in the San Fernando Valley, uh -huh. in Los Angeles. So there were plenty of lots of aphids, lots yeah. of ladybugs. Yeah, did that with my kids. We mm -hmm. found pupas and. Let them go and feed them leaves, and then we think they're going to be a butterfly, and then, ooh, it's an ugly moth. <laughs> Just the whole process. Yeah. Is, yeah. I find fascinating. The central figure here is also, I mean, the happy, happy go lucky flower, it mm -hmm. seems. And you got, we were talking about ladybugs. The ladybugs. There they are. Daisy bugs. Daisy. It's called. Daisy bugs. <laughs> Daisy yeah. bugs. Do you make a lot of drawings or sketches, or it's really you just think about it and do it? And, That's and it. Like I mean, you don't have notebooks lying around? Or... No, I, I, I don't know why I have this weird, uh, don't like the way the pencil sounds and feels on a piece of paper. There's like, it's dry. There's something about the dryness of a pencil on paper. I don't like it. I don't like mm -hmm. pencil. So I always prefer if I have to draw using a ballpoint pen. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't um, mm -hmm. make glimmer any drawings. Not, I'm not saying never, right. but mo almost mm -hmm. never mm -hmm. do I make preliminary drawings. I kind of, the whole process for me, uh, part of my enjoyment and mm -hmm. excitement is not knowing exactly what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'll just start off with this, oh, you know, there's too much blue, and I, I'm going to do a yellow painting. So. Mm -hmm. I did the yellow background, and I'm like, oh, God. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking more about yellow, and I'm like, daisies, and, mm -hmm. you know, like, so it just kind of, like, let it happen. Mm -hmm. And um, for me, that's, like, part of the fun, is not mm -hmm. knowing. And mm -hmm. I, I believe in improvisation, and yes. mm -hmm. I love all that spirit, uh, mm -hmm. and, the, and, like, well, what's going to happen? And you think, oh, I'm going to do this, and then it, oh, it doesn't look like that. Oh, well, what does it look like? Oh, it looks like that. And then it turns into that. So just like this whole process mm -hmm. and this journey mm -hmm. that a painting uh, takes me, mm -hmm. um, I, I get really excited not knowing. And what, I mean, and in this painting or in any of the paintings here, the different, I mean, how many different kinds of media are you using? Just to, can you kind of break it down just a little bit? Yeah. I mean, just... These are yeah. very simple yeah. uh, compared to some of the other mm -hmm. works mm -hmm. uh, that I've been doing recently because mm -hmm. um, these are using a no... I'm not using any photographic imagery. Mm -hmm. I'm not studying any, any mm -hmm. printed matter. No silk screen. I'm mm -hmm. using all these various things. So these are pretty, pretty mm -hmm. sim simple. It's just this kind of a stainy, washy, background of mm -hmm. acrylic mm -hmm. and then another layer which is spray paint mm -hmm. and then the third layer which is oil paint mm -hmm. so there's three layers mm -hmm. uh, and it kind of creates this depth yes uh, mm -hmm. physically mm -hmm. and uh, literally mm -hmm. I mean, literally and imaginatively mm -hmm. I had a feeling about it before and certainly in terms of this that kind of all over or action painting uh -huh. or New York school in terms totally. of what you're doing but I don't think Many people necessarily get that with your work, or I, I, I mean, have it's some mm -hmm. scholarly types mm -hmm. have pointed it out to uh -huh. me that they thought like oh, I see the like, Jackson Pollock in there, and I'm mm -hmm. like, thank you. I mean, yeah. Jackson Pollock is one of my favorite artists, mm -hmm. and I I think I've I take a lot from Jackson Pollock mm -hmm. and uh, the all overness, mm -hmm. uh, the, the kind of expansive all overness, uh, whereas like. Well, this is just a picture mm -hmm. in a bigger picture. Right. So I, I very much relate to that mm -hmm. kind of like expansive universe mm. of, a, of an action painting of Pollock. And then also a stain painting of Morris Lewis. And mm -hmm. I love painting about paint mm -hmm. and painting about painting. Um, 
So there are so many like great things I love about all the art movements of the 20th century. Mm. And I see, um, kind of like, like to take elements of the things that mm -hmm. I love of all these specific movements and putting them together into uh, my own mix, which is, um, I mean, I think that has a lot to do with where we are right now, mm -hmm. not only in the world of culture, but in the world of art, where there isn't any one thing. Mm -hmm. There isn't like the way it used to be. It was like, oh, now we have cubism, and now mm -hmm. we have surrealism, and now we have right. abstract expression. It was very much like these chunks of movements that, right. and if you weren't in that chunk of that thing, you might be left behind, mm -hmm. or maybe looked at later and go, oh, well, we forgot to look at that person because they weren't part of that movement. Yeah. I don't really see that anymore. I, mm. I, I think... Um, it's more diffuse or there's something. There's so yeah, many yeah, ways yeah, of, of yeah. making art, and yeah. uh, I'm very interested in combining all these elements mm -hmm. to... It's almost like putting all these things in a blender and mm -hmm. you come out with a, a new hybrid of kind of making art. Mm. <laughs> That's good. <laughs>